Hi there, Carl here from rugspa.ie. I uh, have a beautiful Kazakh handmade rug today. Um, it's a tribal rug with lovely geometric patterns and bold primary colours. So this has been about a five hour clean, um, which a lot of people are very surprised by how long it actually takes to clean a wool rug properly. So this is a wool rug on wool warp and wet, which is one of the ways I'm able to identify that it's actually a Kazakh tribal rug because if it were a industrial made Indian copy, it would have wool, or sorry, it would have cotton warp and wet rather than wool warp and wet. So just briefly, um, what we've done to clean the rug is used our specialist equipment here. This is a rug duster. What this actually does, very simply, is beat the rug from behind onto the grids that we have in front of us. And um, that is, the main reason, there are others, but it's the main reason why a general carpet cleaner cannot properly clean the rug in your home. We only do rugs like this in our unit out in Green Oak, Green Oak Industrial Estate because we have all of the equipment, as you can see, to hand for the task. So ranging from specialist drying equipment, you can see here and here, the uh, uh, industrial vacuums which open the pile up an awful lot more and actually get the remainder of the grid soil out of the rug. And just to demonstrate what this machine has knocked out of the rug, I'm going to roll back. The rug is sitting on specialist grids. I'm going to roll back the grids now just to show you what's actually under the rug. And that's not even half of what's come out of the rug because we've actually done this twice and cleaned out from under the grids twice. So this process takes, um, takes hours to do properly. What we're aiming to do is remove about 95 to 98% of the dry grit soil, the insoluble soil, um, out of the rug. That actually generally sees such a visual improvement we could nearly stop, uh, uh, stop cleaning the rug there and hand it back to the customer. But for us, that is the beginning of the clean. We then move into pH testing the rug to see if it's been cleaned before using detergents. These natural dyes that are in this rug do not like being treated with caustics or detergents. They prefer pH neutral clean, which is exactly what we do. I've come in, there were one or two spots and stains on the rug, um, and I, there is a before and after image of, of the rug clean as well. Um, but I've done some special spot and stain work on it and then gone through and used our special cleaning agent to clean the rug. Even the hand tooling we have for cleaning the rug is specifically designed for the purpose of rug cleaning. And the water that we pass over the top fibres of the rug is immediately vacuumed out by these two vacuum slots either side of the water injection path here. So everything is designed so that we get the rug cleaned and dried um, with our air movers as well at the end of that process in about 40 minutes um, as in the, the wet extraction and drying process the, the drying process takes about 40 minutes as I say the entire rug takes about five hours to do to do properly um, and now that the rug has been done we're going to apply a moth proofing agent and we're going to apply a, um, a protectant to the rug as well and bundle it back up for delivery back to the customer. Now the difference between doing a rug like this and doing a viscose rug such as this one to, uh, to my right is that the fibers on this rug are essentially made of bamboo, they're paper, this is made of wool. This is a cellulose fiber and it needs to be dry cleaned. It's actually come into us from a customer that has um, used general cleaning agents on the rug and burst the pile and ruined the rug. So we're trying to remediate that and groom the rug back into, uh, into a, a usable state again, which we're about halfway through. But <clears throat> the understanding of fibre types is absolutely paramount because if I clean this rug in the same manner that I clean this rug, I would absolutely ruin it. If this was a silk rug, um, again, we change our, our, our approach to it. If it's a polypropylene or a plastic rug, we change our approach again. Everything is designed so that we give you you and the rug the absolute best clean um, and 
while we're doing it, we'll generally ID the rug for you as well. So I know that this is Kazakh rug. It's probably um, late 80s into the 90s. There's a little bit of wear on, on, on a patch over here from use. Um, and that use actually, that wear has been caused by the grit soil that you can see we've taken out of the, the rug itself, micro abrading the wool um, from the mechanical action of you walking over it. So that's it, Carl here from rugsfat.ie, just going through how we clean um, your rugs for you. Thanks for watching the video.